Welcome to Throttle Hand. Today we're at Newport Beach, California, at Ducati's newest dealership. Joining us is Ducati North America's technical director, Austin Gray. Austin, thanks for coming. Good to meet you, Tom. Austin, why don't you give us a little bit about yourself and tell us what a technical director does for Ducati. Okay, well basically, um, I look after all of the after sales for North America and Canada and Puerto Rico. So Austin, explain to me how the Ducati traction control system works on this motorcycle. Okay, well Tom, system is a great word to start with because more than ever before, you've got to look at the motorcycle as a system rather than just a compilation of parts. So what I'll do, I'll take you around the bike. Okay, where do we start? Okay, well this, the traction control system itself works off of a correlation between the front and the rear wheel speed. So obviously the first thing we need to do is understand how fast those wheels are turning. And we do that with uh, speed sensors, and I can show you one here. All right. So here's the speed sensor, and uh, what this actually does is count uh, as these rivets pass by. So there's also a very similar one on the rear that's working off the rear brake disc. And uh, that information goes where? That then goes into the rest of the system whereby and we can work backwards along the bike, your instruments and your controls here. This is where you input to the system and the information is fed back to you as to which state the system's in. Okay. The acceleration on the Street Fighter is absolutely incredible. I mean, there is no real difference between this bike and the 1198 Superbike, or 1098 Superbike from Ducati. It's putting out uh, upwards of 150 horsepower, and it has a ton of torque. You twist the throttle on this thing, and it just wants to go.